Here you can see we have the rain from Springfield to Northampton up to Greenfield. Well, Greenfield has actually gone over to wet snow now. I think Franklin County, that's the bit of a wild card here, right? If it's more snow, you'll get a decent amount of snowfall. If it's more rain, of course, there won't be much. But I think in the valley, it's just going to kind of be oscillating back and forth. Uh, Springfield will be all rain, Northampton all rain. Well, with the exception of the tail end of things here. And then you get into the hill towns, right? Places like Blanford, where the snow is coming down at a good clip. So as you make your way along Interstate 90, uh, I should say the Mass Pike, uh, you get into Russell where we have a mix. Then you get into Blanford. The snow on the ground is coming down at a pretty good clip. Otis has that snowfall. Standisfield as well. And you get into parts of Franklin County along Route 2 uh, where uh, Charlemont where we have that snowfall. And then you get into Berkshire County. This is where tr our driving is just going to be treacherous. And the snow is really going to start to pile up while most of us will just be dealing with that cold rain as we go throughout the day today. In fact, temperatures will average in the upper 30s to near 40 in the valley, closer to 32 across the hills. We may end as snow showers everywhere this evening, and that might give us a minor accumulation, uh, but that will be short-lived because we'll start to dry out. Once that wind goes around into the northwest, we'll see drying conditions. But right now we're sitting at 38 in Springfield, of course, way too uh, mild for snow here. We do have that wind out of the east-northeast. It's going to pick up and it's going to freshen. Winds will become gusty at about uh, 30 to 35 miles per hour. And of course, where the winds are strong across the hill sounds, that's where it can lead to some power outages. But notice the temps, 38 Springfield, 38 Worcester, where it's raining, Boston, Providence, Hartford, all the big cities are going to be getting rain. Heading north, look at Keene. They're going to get an old-fashioned snowstorm here, and the White and Green Mountains are going to make out with lots of snow out of this storm system. But it is indeed rain in Springfield. Let's check in with meteorologist Don Maher, who's live in Springfield, where the rain has been coming down pretty much since last night. It's been all rained on. Yeah, it certainly has, Dan. The uh, little bit of snowpack we had outside here, uh, outside our Liberty Street studio, is uh, pretty much gone with the temperatures above freezing and the rain that we are dealing with. And that's the way it's going to shape up here in the valley. Just a cold rain. The hill towns, well, that's where they're going to see, as Dan mentioned, a good old-fashioned snowstorm. You get it in those higher elevations. As you go up with elevation, that's where the snow really begins to pile up. You get up above 1,500, 2,000 feet. That's where we're talking about the potential for a foot, maybe a little bit more than that. But here in the valley, Valley. Yeah, it's a low impact event. We're just going to be dealing with that rainfall. Now, not only in the hill towns are we going to be dealing with the snow, and of course, it's going to be that wet, pasty snow. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to move around. As Dan mentioned, the winds are going to start to ramp up later on today. We'll see those winds gusting 30, 35 miles per hour. You get that heavier snow accumulating on the power lines. The winds picking up. Yeah, certainly isolated, scattered power outages will be a concern in those hill towns. But for us here in the Springfield area, the lower valley, Springfield, Chicopee, Holyoke, we're just going to be dealing with rain. It may end as a few flakes, as Dan mentioned, as the precipitation starts to wind on down. We get on the backside of this system, but as far as the snowfall, the higher up in elevation you go, the higher the snowfall amounts are going to be, and you get above 1,500, 2,000 feet. That's probably going to be our best chance for us to see a foot of snow. But Dan, you know, the snow lovers here in the lower valley certainly going to be disappointed with this storm system, as for us here in the valley, it's just going to be a cold rain. All right.